All right, so let's talk about the Easy PLCs uh, tutorial package, right? So it's a really good package to learn from. It's a really good package to put together uh, from beginning to end. Uh, like it's basically stair stepping you from like the small stuff to the big stuff. But um, for PLC training, it's absolutely really, really a good tool. And it's all virtualized, so there's no risk. So you have exercise one through exercise 20. Uh, and that gets to more advanced stuff, right? So let's let's talk about how to filter this stuff. Do you want to filter it? You can come over here and list all the easy stuff. Then you come over here to medium, all the medium stuff, and all the hard stuff you can see right there. I like to keep it on all, personally. Uh, you can also go to configurations and actually add configuration for passwords and stuff like that. And I'll show you what that means. So let's go over and open up uh, exercise one. Exercise one, you see the exercise, right? and you see the solution. Well, you can put a password on that so the person cannot see the solution. Or you can just leave it blank and leave it solution right here so they can see the solution. Uh, in my efforts, uh, and what I believe is, uh, you know, go ahead and see the solution is perfectly fine because if you implement it, that, that muscle memory of actually programming it and learning how to do it, uh, then you come back and challenge yourself and program it a different way. Uh, you know, that's that's kind of my thought pattern. And then the cool thing behind this is you don't have to have any external PLC software whatsoever uh, besides Easy PLC because you can launch Easy PLC right here and this will launch the solution. So you can see the solution and have it actually launch from directly from the top up here, right? So you can see the solution. As you see, uh, Easy PLC is launching right now and you can see the solution right there. You see that? Now that does go into already having everything pre-configured, so all we have to do is actually kind of compile it and load it and run it. Let me show you that. All right, so let's go to another one. Let's go to one down here. Uh, let's go to exercise 20. All right, this is a little bit harder one. Right, this is one that is going to show you a a, a great deal more uh, to do. All right, so when that goes to goes to uh, talking about, let's go to you can go right here and, and go to Easy PLC and actually start a brand new program. But just note these tabs do change when you change tabs from exercise to solution. They're going to change tabs. So when you create the Easy PLC program, this is going to be you creating the atmosphere. You see there's no program right here, right? There's no hardware. You see the I.O. and everything. That's great. But so what we want to do is we want to launch the machine simulator. And this does work hand in hand with Machine Simulator. So again, uh, this is launching exercise 19 right now, uh, as you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and let that launch. And here's the cool thing that I've always taught, right? I've always told you, you can come over here and get your scope of work from right here on the side over here, right? You can get your scope of work and see how things work and stuff like that. Now, with that said, there's another way, right? So with that said, you can come over here and launch, get to solution, right? Go to solution tab. And this is the cool side is we're going to open up the solution and, and uh, easy PLC, and we're going to actually get it running. I'm going to show you how to compile it. I'm going to show you how to get it functioning just directly from here. So just in case you wanted to see a real life working process, right? You can come over here and see that this is all here, right? This is all here. Get positions. Uh, you, know, you can see all right there. So all we're going to do is we're going to compile and send it, send this pro, uh, project over, right? And we're going to use our virtual <laughs> memory, right? And then we're going to go ahead and download that, right? So uh, we'll go ahead and accept it. And then now that's going to start open our virtual PLC uh, CPU. Now, what do I mean by that? We can go down here and you can see I can open up this and that's my rack. I can see it's actually running. So all I have to do now is come over here and you can see that it's actually running. It's actually running this process. Now, how do I see that in an easy PLC is I'll come over here and connect so that I can go online and I can see the functions actually working, right? So this is gonna allow me to actually work on that, right? So if I come over here, I'll see what the, the actual machine simulator is doing as far as the robotics and stuff like that. And I can also look at the IO. Right, what's the IO doing, right? I can look at the arm position, you can see all that moving. So all this is a very, very functional thing. And again, this is used with the Easy PLC. Uh, this is the tutorial, right? So there's 20 uh, tutorials, easy to hard. And again, when it comes down to it, uh, making these workers very efficient. So let's look at the code, right? So we're actually online with the code. You can see that 
anything in red means it's functioning. Um, if you look right here, like the main sequence, you can tell the sequence what it's doing. This is a sequencer, right? So you can tell which sequence is going in. And each one of these is a sequence, right? So if you look at robot, uh, this, do this, do this. Uh, so each one of these is kind of built in, right? And uh, it's really cool the way that he, you know, has all this put together. So I, I really wanted to, to kind of give, give you a base understanding of how, well, really how to use it, how to go about it and see different things, right? So again, from easy to hard, again, if we went to another solution, let's just say uh, uh, three, uh, let's just say three starters right here. This is another easy one, right? So you go ahead and do that, and but you can go ahead and crank this up and actually do this yourself and actually get the experience right behind it. And again, all it takes is easy PLC and machine simulator, right? So those all are, come together in one package and then you get the tutorial you add a, I think it's another 20 euros or something like that. It's really cost effective, but it, you get that. And then you go ahead and you can actually practice and you can do that all in one software suite, right? So, and you can also take this and still link your third party properties like your, your major PLC brands like Allen Bradley or Rockwell uh, Automation, Siemens, and even CodeSys, right? All the major brands can hook to this and you can use these same like exercises and do this in Rockwell or do this in Codesys or do this in, in Siemens as far as that goes. But still utilize your, uh, your machine simulator just like we normally would, right? So again, when it comes down to it, I just wanted to share this because it's a very, very valuable tool, very helpful, uh, very powerful, right? So let's go ahead and stop this. Let's stop the PLC and let's go ahead come back you see it goes into a stop position let's reset the uh, restart the machine and let's restart the pro uh, process so we'll close this out and we have that done so again with all that said I wanted to introduce you to that and show you that there is a vast world of things you can do with this uh, tutorial base right so this tutorial manager so with that said hopefully uh, and if you're interested again uh, you can go ahead and get this I mean, it's very, it's very easy to find easy PLC, but again, I want to introduce you to that. Again, uh, if you use my link, you can get an actual discount on this. And it, again, when it comes down to it, any discount is better than no discount, right? So when it comes down to it, if you want to email me, I'll be glad to give you, you know, the, the ability to get that discount. And again, when it comes down to it, it's a very powerful, very helpful tool. So I just figured I'd share it. And uh, again, I use it. I, I think it's a very valuable tool. I don't actually, uh, you know recommend anything that I don't use again but I use this with Rockwell um, I also use this with CodeSys uh, I don't actually program with Siemens right now but it, when it comes down to it this is a very very valuable tool highly valuable so when it comes down to it hopefully that helps and we'll see you guys on the next one